Hey everybody, this is Vengeance from uh, Bible Electronic Arts. Tonight I'm working on a project that uh, kind of needed some realistic planets to be made, and I kind of ran into a little bit of a snag. Um, went on the internet, tried to look up some research on how to do uh, what it is I'm about to show you, and I just couldn't find any material on it. Um, this might be something very simple, this might not, um, but I know I've seen probably a good couple dozen videos of uh, demonstration planets that you know have all sorts of cool sounds and everything but ultimately they all do this they all rotate straight up on that y-axis and some of them even do what this planet is doing now and if you can watch it on the timeline here when it gets to about right here it starts to slow down and then it jerks and slows back up and starts speeding up again you can see right now I actually start to do that. And kick. Um, the kick is more a little bit more pr predominant when it's on a smaller time scale, but regardless, I'm going to show you how to fix it. Um, most of the things on here are pretty simple. You just, uh, you know, you just got to know how to do it. And um, yeah, let's get started. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop this, go back to the beginning, and I'm just going to delete the, the animations from now. Now, I know I could reuse them. But um, essentially, this is a tutorial, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Bear with me here. It's like quarter to one in the morning. Um, so you still got the Earth here. Um, once you get your own Earth built, it's basically you can do this with a sphere as well. But um, I'm going to do it with the Earth here. So it shows up a little bit easier. Go to your uh, object, get a null object, and put your Earth as a child of a null object. Now, what a null object does, it it's um it's an object without an object, but it has the properties of an object. So when you cons when you alter the properties of the null object, it translates to the to the child um, object, and then which in this case is the Earth. So right now we're still connected to we're still clicked on the Earth. So we want to click on the null and give it a twenty three point five degree axis, and that is the Earth's axis. <coughs> Now we haven't actually tilted the Earth axis, we tilted the Null's axis, but since the Earth is connected to it, it translates to that being tilted as well, which is what makes this ball process possible. So go back to the Earth axis, you notice that it's zeroed out, because in its own little world, it, th it still thinks it's straight up and down. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the uh, recreate the, uh, the animation for the Earth to rotate. So everything's zeroed out. Make sure that all you got connected on there or clicked on is the rotation because that's all we want to record at this point. Um, hit the key, keyframe it. Just zoom in, make sure that we got it, which we do. Zoom back out. Scroll that sucker all over there. And zoom in. Now, what you want to do is negative 360 it to give it that full rotation. And uh, keyframe that as well. And as of right now, it starts to rotate. I'm going to zoom back out so you can actually see it. Um, but now we're right back where we were with the rotation um, slowing down and kicking. Um, but we're, we do have that 23.5 degree axis, which is awesome. That's what we were looking for. And this is what's going to make it really believable. Um, so as I promised, I'm going to show you how to get rid of the, uh, the, the slow rotation and the kicks. Uh, so let's stop this, go to the end, zoom in. Now basically what causes the kick is the fact that there's two keyframes that are actually on the same rotation as each other, the beginning and the last. So that's why you get that kick because there's two of them. So what we got to do is we got to basically get rid of them. So we just bring that up one. Oh yeah, I got to show you how to do that. Um, you want to add extra keyframes, but keep this for the, for a second where your original keyframe was. And when you move the keyframe up, it expands the time frame of the rotation of the Earth. If you do it by one frame, you'll actually get this number here. And when you bring it back to the original timeline, you drop the rotation number back on there, enter it in, get rid of those extra frames. And what that does is it eliminates the second frame with the rotation 
um, parameters that are on that. So it just it's a, it creates a seamless loop. So what we're going to do is zoom back out. If you can watch it, again, it's more predominant on um, frames that are, for second wise, I'd say like 10, 10 or less, you'd really be able to see it. But um, so that's going to get rid of that. And you can still see that the earth slows down. And that's also a pretty simple way to fix. Let's go up to the window, the timeline. And what this is, it's the timeline of all the animations that are going on in your build. So go click on the earth, right click, frame all, and that'll bring up the excuse me, that'll bring up the frame um, movement rate of your of the object rotation of the object you're working on. In this case, it's the earth. And what it is, it, what's going on is it's actually tweening to see these humps right here. This actually is the point where it starts to speed up. The speed is nice and consistent, and as it bends, it slows back down. So what we want to do is basically just change this to a linear option and get it straight down, a nice consistent um, speed. So what we're going to do is left click and hold, highlight the whole thing. <clears throat> you can either left click and go linear, or you can go to the interpolation over here and just go linear. And that changes the uh, speed rate of the rotation to a nice consistent number. <coughs> to close that out, hit the play button, watch the watch it turn. Mm-hmm, it's a beautiful thing. It's gonna rotate. Nice and smoothly. Nice. Well, anyway, that's the tutorial. Um, like I said, I haven't seen any videos that um, actually were showing you how to make a nice um, a, uh, rotation on the axis. So enjoy. And if I, uh, yeah, give me a thumbs up if you like this. Rate, subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.